So JITs and exemptions, a.k.a. UPC codes, a.k.a. ISBN numbers, um, EANs, uh, those are all GTINs, Global Trade Index Number. That's what that means. A GTIN is a Global Index Trade Number, but it, uh, it, the, the names of those are UPC codes, EANs, that barcode number. That's what that is. So um, it, it's called different things, but again, you need one of those to list on Amazon. If you do not have a GTIN, then you need a GTIN exemption. In order to get a GTIN exemption, you generally have to have permission from the brand that issued that brand saying there is no UPC code for this particular product. It is exempt from that because of the following reasons. Now, Amazon gives you reasons why you can get a GTIN exemption. And one of the number one reasons you can get a GTIN exemption is that if it's a custom bundle, which is what you guys are creating. So you don't need a GTIN for, to create your listing. If you're creating something that's not on the list of restricted brands, because there are brands that will not give you a GTIN exemption. So even if you are approved to sell KitchenAid products, that approval doesn't instantly give you the ability to create new listings. It just means you can list on the existing ones that are there. So if you were trying to create a KitchenAid bundle and you wanted to put, I don't know, let's say KitchenAid makes all kinds of kitchen accessories. So you want to put uh, measuring spoons and measuring cups uh, together. They're both made by KitchenAid. They're both red. You want to create a custom bundle for that. You need a UPC code or a GTIN for that. So you file for an exemption saying, I'd like a GTIN exemption for creating a custom bundle for KitchenAid. And they're going to ask you to prove that you have permission from KitchenAid in order to create said bundle. You don't have that permission and they're not going to give it to you. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to create that bundle because their name is not only on the list of GTIN requirements, but then you actually don't have permission to create custom bundles for them anyway. So the answer is going to be no. So with the GTIN exemption, you can get GTIN exemptions for many brands and you don't have to have permission from all of them, but they're going to want to see what you want to sell. So you're going to have to take pictures of either your packaging and or your items. If you're going to call it generic and they see a brand on anything that you're submitting in the photos, they're going to turn you down. Why? Because generic means no brand brand means brand. So if I hold up this pen right here and it doesn't have anything on it, then that would be generic. This is a generic black pen. But then if I tell them it's generic and then they see this side and say that there is an actual brand on that, it says mommy income on it, then they know that that has a brand. So they're not going to say, well, this is not this is not generic. Their generic definition means it has no brand name under what it's sold on. And honestly, a lot of things on Alibaba, a lot of things that you can buy at wholesale suppliers and places don't have brands attached to them. They're just products. Um, so you think, I think of like, uh, I'm like looking at it around at what's around me, like mesh desk organizer, you know, doesn't, it could have a brand on it, but most of the time there, there's not branding on those things. It's, or it's a clear glass vase, whatever it is. Um, so making sure you understand the definition of generic versus branding and then going about it in that way. So you can apply for a G10 exemption. There's another, there's a video on my YouTube channel um, called how to, how to get G10 exemptions. Like there's a whole training. So go find that and watch that first. And then if you still have questions, you can come back to me. But the, the G10 exemption policy has not changed. You can apply for a G10 exemption. You need to be able to show proof that this brand can be sold on Amazon and here's the products and here are the items that to be bundled. Bundling is still a reason they give G10 exemptions, but they don't have to say yes to you, especially if you're attempting to list branded items as generic or you're trying to list um branded items that are on the restricted brand list or the list that requires GTINs in order to list them.
So there are brands that say, we do not allow you to list anything unless you have a GTIN, and those are issued by the manufacturer. So at that point, if the manufacturer doesn't give you a GTIN uh, for your bundle, which nine out of 10 times they won't, unless they're a smaller private company, um, you're not 